Here we are with Will Hahn. What's up? Nothing, you know, just relaxing. Uh, actually, in my bed right now, just uh, killing the time. You look like you just got done uh, chat rouletteing. Yeah, I did. I just, uh, you know, just been chatting it up and then uh, just was jamming to some music. Yeah, I see Pan that. Some Pandora radio. Yeah, that's good. So, uh, how do you feel about your second place at Seattle? I feel good about it. Um, I was really going there to win, but uh, I'm really, I'm really happy that I came away from that race uh, healthy, no crashes. We're good to go, and because that that track was really technical. Yeah, that track looked a little sketchy. You just moved into second in points, 19 points behind Weimer, uh, and 19 points from a championship. What are you? Uh, what are your plans for Salt Lake City? Um, they are, uh... Oh, taking the shades just, off. Get nervous. Yeah, I got scared, I'm not gonna lie. Um, I think, uh, I'm just going there to win the race, you know? I, I obviously need a pretty big gift from Jake to, uh, to win the title. And, but we're still going for it, you know? I'm just going there to win the race and, and, uh, have some fun with it. You ready for, uh, Vegas to shut up all the haters that, uh, claim that the East Coast is more stacked than the West Coast? Definitely ready for that. Definitely to uh, go ahead and uh, prove that we are better. <laughs> so uh, you had a pretty long break coming into this last race. What all? What all did you do during the break? Uh, I uh, I tested. Actually, I went to uh, the Indy Supercross, watched the first round of the East, um, hung out with some friends, supported my brother there, and then uh, came back out here to California. Did a week of outdoor testing. Uh, went back to Texas. Got some riding there. Went to Oak Hill. Went to Bowie Extreme. Oh, Bowie Extreme, Oak Hill. What yeah, else did you do? To, Get crazy there. at all? Just got really, really crazy with uh, Cody Druick and oh, going yeah. to for him. <laughs> and uh, he's just crazy. And uh, it does get a little yeah, crazy over there at times. Yeah, you know, I, you know, it, it, you never really know what's gonna happen. No. And. Uh, <laughs> And so, wrapped it up there, had a good time back home, enjoyed my parents and, and everything like that, seeing them, because I've probably only been home, uh, shoot, five weeks this whole year. So, uh... Yeah, you're a Cali bro now. Um, Almost yeah, full time. I actually, uh, don't claim Texas anymore. It sucks I got that tattoo on my arm. Oh, so. man. Selling the house, <laughs> moving out, or leaving it just to Tommy. Yeah, yeah, Tom, it's all Tom's house now. So, no, I can't wait to be back, but, uh, came back out here, did some more outdoor testing, uh, racing outdoor race, and then from there, the last two weeks, it's just been super tough. How's the, how's the outdoor testing going? You feeling good on the bike? Yeah, Confident. I feel really good. Uh, I feel like Pro Circuit and us, we, uh, bums, we got some, we got some really good settings, and, uh, with my mechanic, Matt, helping me, and, and Bones helping, and Mitch, I really feel like we've got a good setup going with the team, and, uh, ready for some outdoors. What's what's your goals coming into outdoors? What do you what do you plan on being at the end of the year? I'd love to be uh, top five at the end of the year. Uh, so if I start top ten and slowly creep into the top five, that'd be my goal. What, if you uh, back to Supercross, if you end up winning the championship, what are your plans after that? Um, crazy. I'd say if, if I end up winning the championship this next Saturday night. Uh, I want to say to get a little crazy. I mean, you never really know. You guys celebrate. You only get, you don't get that very often. And uh, you know, it, it, uh, it'd be good times for sure. But we focus on trying to win Vegas too. Back to outdoors. What's your thoughts on Glen Helen being knocked out of the series? Um, you bummed? Good and bad. Uh, I'm pretty happy that I don't have to race there at five o'clock in the afternoon when the shadows are in your eyes and uh, it's one of the scariest tracks to race. But, yeah, it is uh, a little sketchy. At the same time, it's a good track. It separates people, and a lot of fans come there. And uh, other than that, you know, other than the, the fans and the fact that it, you know, it's a good, it does separate because it's really long motos. The track's really rough, and you, I mean, people get really tired there. And that, other than that, I'm not, I'm not really gonna miss it. Yeah, it is a little sketchy late in the afternoon. Yeah. 
So let's talk about uh, Facebook. You got four thousand friends now. How do you feel? Feel more like I a feel celebrity. Great. I feel great. You know what I mean. I you know I, I get on there, the, the chat pops up. Try to reply when I can, and uh, it's been good. You know what I mean. I, I like accepting those guys and, and gals, and you know just at the same time just trying to find that Mrs. Right. Yeah, yeah. I saw that on your last Facebook update. Just uh, on the hunt for a chick, huh? Yeah, cool there she is. That, you know, Miss Perfect. <laughs> what about your fan page? It seems to be struggling a little bit. Yeah, you know, it felt like it really blew up there for a couple days, and then it just kind of like leveled, it just plateaued and just stopped. And uh, it kind of hurt, you know what I mean? But I got a Twitter now, and it feels like that thing's been kind of blowing up. And I'm not mad at that one bit. And... Uh, we gotta get we gotta get my Facebook fan page. You know we gotta get that thing ready to just we gotta have some fans on. You there. need to start just, promoting it. Do like jersey giveaways and stuff like that. Oh, I'm in for it. Um, I'll say the first the thousand person gets say the thousand fan gets a jersey autograph and um, and a set of goggles, a set of Oakley goggles signed to them. So that means you gotta get six hundred people. So hopefully they'll watch this and uh, blow it up. You gotta do some promoting. That's true. I need to get on that pretty bad. Maybe update my picture while I'm at it. You know what I'm saying? So yep. is. Just I'm just getting friend requests as we speak. Oh man, and, just uh, blowing up. Have you ever had to deny yeah. anybody on Facebook? Have I ever denied anybody? Yeah. No. no. Uh, honestly, actually, at first I did because I was just gonna keep it like personal. Like, uh, for friends and you know, just catching up with people I haven't seen in a long time and stuff. But then it just, you know, no, I just, I accept everybody and that's, that's the program. Yeah, I've, I've won a few contests. As you can see, I've got the, the Han jersey collection behind me. I'm just <laughs> decorating my office. What do you think about that? I need uh, to add a few I was more. Really, I was really happy to send you those because, you know, you've been, you've been really good with my fan page. And <laughs> <laughs> You're just always good at updating your photos and... Choosing the right yeah. ones. Make sure you, you, you make sure you use the most recent photo of me. So yeah. that was that was the big plus to giving me that jersey. Yeah, since you're kind of unknown, it's hard to find recent pictures of you. So I had to go to you know pick out one from '06. Just put up there <laughs> as the main photo. That's funny. Well, cool, man. Uh, good luck at Salt Lake. Get a go for a win, maybe a championship. And good luck yeah, in outdoors. Sure. You need to come back to Texas it. and we'll uh, drop another blog. I can't wait. I'm really looking forward to it. When are you coming back? Uh, oh, I got to show a picture. I wish you'd have been dropping a blog this day before we get off here. You got to see this one. This is a pretty good photo. And uh, actually, I got two to show you. All right. Let's check it out. Oh, uh, Right now, Ping, I'm very sorry, Ping. I have to be calling the call again. Oh. I Oh, hold on, you know what, let me answer it because he's going to give me a word after you, hold on. Alright, that'll work. Ping, what's up? I'm uh, doing an interview right now on iChat through the laptop, figure I'd answer it because I figured you'd want to give me a word I had to use. Is that your wife? That's awesome! Oh, I forgot my word. Already forgot it. Um, no, I know what it is. All right. I'm sorry about that. That was just that went on longer than I thought I was going to. But I feel like you know that was good. I thought it was gonna make it a little bit more funny than it was. You gotta, that. you gotta do the business. Talk to the team so, manager. You know, keep them happy. Yeah, you know what I mean. You just gotta, you just gotta keep those nipples happy. You know what I mean. So what's the word? What, are, what do you have to say? I just read it. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm just trying to keep those nipples from getting shaved. Oh, yeah, the nipples. Yeah, I saw yeah. a picture of you with some tape over your nipples. How, how's that? Are you still running that? Yeah, outdoors only because, you know, they just they, they get raw, they bleed. Yeah, don't you have uh, really big nipples? Yeah, they're uh, actually like hairy dinner plates, if yeah. you will. That's good. Yeah. <sighs> well, you ready to play Reflex and get taken out? 
Let's do this. I'm ready. All right. I'm going to play <laughs> reflex. All right. <laughs> All right. See ya. Later.